But of course I ate your muffins. Oh, they were good, by the way. But you have to understand, they have butter. And I was hungry. The first time you met me, I didn't have anything to eat. And we went on that fancy adventure, and... Uh, I wouldn't really call that an adventure, Doctor. Well, the nightmare mood situation solved itself. And I do thank you for giving me the muffins. But, you see, I hardly had enough time to eat. When I arrived back, all I had was a bite. And you were in the middle of winter wrap-up, and we popped the frol on, and... I just noticed something. See, the first time we met was the Summer Sun Celebration. Then I met you two months later in the Winter Wrap-Up, the Spring Celebration. But that doesn't make sense. They're two months apart. Oh, oh um, okay, maybe it was a teensy bit longer than that, see, um... What did you do? I, I didn't do anything. I just, I, um, I have a really hard time reading numbers, first of all. And it, it was a really long time, and I didn't want you to feel as bad. But, see, the thing is... Two kind of looks like three, and three kind of looks like an eight cut in half. So I said two because, well, I was thinking of eight, but I remember it looking like two, and, um... <laughs> ah, well, that wouldn't understand her, I mean, after all the eye situation and everything. But, nevertheless, I do forgive you for that. It's not a situation. It's, it's okay. I'm okay. Really, I'm okay. Also, doctor, doctor... Why did I have to change my hair color those times that we went back to fix all the things I messed up in winter wrap-up? Ah, yes, the hair color changing. We wouldn't want to have a paradox on our hands of what with the timeline and it being all wait, wonky wait, as wait. Well. What's that got to do with a pair of boxes? Why wouldn't we want a pair of boxes? No, not a pair of boxes, a paradox. See, if, if you see yourself, crossing your own timeline causes an event, time itself collapse, time reapers doing sweeping duty, universes collide and shatter, civilization cease to exist, among all things. Okay, but I still don't get what that has to do with a pair of boxes. Ah, okay. Just, if you meet you, it's very, very bad. Okay, that makes sense. But, you still ate all the muffins. Back on this again? Well, you did kind of promise me that you'd have muffins with me after the whole Everfree Forest thing. Ah, Miss Hoos, you underestimate me. My name is Ditsy Doo. No, it's Demus. It sounds better. What sounds better about it? Do you really want me to call you Miss Doo? I don't uh, want to call you a Ditz or a Doo. Don't be hooves it is. But my name is No, 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 think about it. Imagine how it sounds. Miss Do. Miss Do. Watch, I can even do it with a lilt. Miss Do. Oh, I can't stand even saying such a... But my name really is... Now, as I was saying, Miss Hoops, I thought of that. That's why you're here now. Did you know there's an entire planet that literally harvests muffins? Huh? Muffins practically grows on trees there. Well, okay, not maybe trees, more like vines. With muffins, it's almost like the banana plant, except, well, you know, muffins. Uh. Those two really should collaborate sometime. Muffiny banana plant. Oh, was it banana muffiny plant? Wish they had a butter plant. Oh, that sounds good, a butter plant. Anyways, brilliant, isn't it? That's where we're going. Uh. Planet of Muffins. Well, if Planet of Muffins definitely sounds like a way to make up for eight months of no muffins. Splendid! Now, all we just need to do is press that blue blippity button over there. Um, do I have to push it? Yes, if you please. You're still not used to your hooves, are you? Ah, uh, well, somebody has to steer her, okay. so... Press the blue blippy button right there, the curvy worthy handle over there, and that super special green beagle bangle boingle lever in front. What's it do? Oh, just pull it for fun. Okay. <laughs> See? Fun! We're off! Planet, muffin, planet, muffin, planet, muffin, planet, muffin, planet. Here we are. Oh, right, let's do it. Wait, Doctor, this is, um, Muffin Planet kind of looks like the back of a bakery. What? <laughs> well, it's not like I'm bad at driving, you see. It's just that I'm new to this pony thing, and the universe is all new and unfamiliar, and time uh -huh. seems to be wonky, wibbly, wobbly, and all that. Oh! Okay, so where are we? Oh, looks like we're 300 years in your future. My future? Or, you mean, we're in the future? We're... Yes, we're 300 years in the future from where we were last. And oh we just happen to be in the back door of a bakery. We can have future muffins. <gasps> well, okay, maybe it's not a whole planet of muffins, but future muffins sure sounds like they'd be pretty good. Really? All right, let's look around and... Uh, there's a croissant. Croissants are nice. Ooh. I'm 
muffins. I'm just going to look at chocolate chip and oatmeal. Yeah, those cookies look good, but it's still not muffins. Look at me. This cake looks delicious, but English muffin. Oh, what? English muffin? Let me have that. Mm. Ew! Mm. Well, what's wrong with English muffins? Everything's wrong with English muffins. They taste like cardboard. In fact, I think that's what's in them. Oh. Well, they taste fine with butter. No, they should not taste fine with anything. They're gross. What's up? Um, uh, I don't know. I just tried to find my own muffin. You can enjoy your disgusting paper muffins. Oh, um, I don't see any muffins of that variety. Either. I don't think they have any muffins, Doctor. Well, no sense staying here then. Why don't we go to the TARDIS and actually set the TARDIS? Okay, let's uh, go, go back to the TARDIS! Watch out for ah! <laughs> Did you just destroy the entire bakery with your... Yes. Is this normal for you? Yes. I can't believe it! You have a- What was that noise? Intruders! Oh. That's a royal palace guard. We're... in the royal... bakery. Who are you? Identify yourselves immediately, otherwise you will be facing arrest. Oh, um, we're not trespassing, honest, we, um... Uh, let me take it from here. Right, we're here on official business. My credentials. Uh, oh, my apologies, Inspector, but I'm afraid you are out of your jurisdiction. Right, I'm sorry about that. I had a tip that somebody probably poisoned the pastry. I uh, was examining it myself. <sighs> we have a royal taster for that. Why? Well, I wasn't informed about that, and he didn't seem to be here, so I thought I would investigate myself. Terribly sorry about the misunderstanding. Understood. But don't take too long. The princess is waiting. Doctor, what is that thingy you just showed him, anyway? Ah, well, what I have here is slightly psychic paper. It uses the power of suggestion to display whatever I wanted to, or whatever the one looking wants to see. Here, take a look. Says free muffin Tuesday. Wait, no, it's blank. Wait, free muffin Tuesday again. No, it's blank. It works on one eye and not the other. Um, I guess. Um, by the way, he called you an inspector. Um, what are you gonna do about that, doctor? Ah, yes. Well, I don't know what I'm inspecting, but better find out. Be careful, doctor. I don't want to get arrested. Inspector, I advise you to hurry. Oh. Yes, uh, coming. Come along, assistant. We have investigative work to do. Of course, Mr. Inspector. Advisor Regal Script, the inspector has arrived. Yes, inspector. Right here. Inspector Turner. Turner? That's a weird name. Uh, yes. What? Oh, cutie mark, hourglass. Time! Time, Turner. Ah, inspector. It's about time. So, were you able to find anything? Our poor Princess Luna has been in such turmoil these last few weeks. It's simply heartbreaking. Princess Luna? Oh, this doesn't sound good. My sympathies for the Princess. I did find some information, but I need to talk to the Princess directly. Oh, don't you worry. Anything you say to her must come through me. She's not feeling well, you see. Uh, yes. That's all fine and dandy, but sources have told me that this letter is something for her eyes only. No exceptions. And I have my orders. Anything she sees, I see first. Oh, come now. She knows me personally. It shouldn't be an issue. <laughs> How can she know you if I have never met you? Nothing gets by me. Well, then, if I can't speak with her, then maybe you could show me to Princess Celestia. Uh, what are you imp- How dare you! Guards, take them out of here immediately. At once, sir. Now wait just a minute, you can't- Move! 
Requesting an audience, princess. Yes, what does thou want? I have spoken with the inspector. So what news of our sister? None, princess. I'm afraid it really seems she's left on her own accord. <sighs> Fine. If our sister is so desperate to escape her responsibilities, then it shall fall upon the knight to govern. I believe in your strength, princess. At least one of us does. Well, that didn't go so well. Hmm. Yeah. But let's recap here. Something important has happened. Something involving Celestia, with Princess Luna being heartbroken. Uh, Debbie, what do you think this is? It's Itzy. Uh, never mind. But, well, it sounds like something bad happened. Do you think it has something to do with that pair of boxes you were talking about? No, it has nothing to do with boxes, let alone a paradox. Anyways, we need to get to the bottom of this. But, Doctor, you're not an inspector. That was just something that your silly paper said. No, but I'm the doctor, and helping people, uh, ponies now, is what I do. First course of action, ask her out. Hey, uh, sorry to bother you, sir, but what's all this I've been hearing about Celestia? Are you kidding? Every pony knows about it. Uh, yes, uh, we were on vacation, missed the whole thing. Oh, of course. A couple being distracted by each other on a vacation? Oh, that's pretty romantic. Oh, we're not a couple, oh, <laughs> Izzy. We're just really close oh, friends. Oh, uh, no. Anyways, could you tell us, please? Uh, all right, sorry. You look like a couple of me. <coughs> Anyways, uh, about three weeks ago, Princess Celestia just up and left. Every pony says it was probably because she and Luna were having arguments again. It was crazy! All the power went out all over Equestria when it happened. Though, what do you expect when the princess abandons her duty? Oh, I see. But I'm what with the power. Oh, so that explains it. Thank you! No problem. I don't get it. What does Celestia have to do with the power going out? Uh, Princess Celestia controls the daytime, Doctor. W well, yes, I know that. Still, it's a bit weird to wrap my head around. But what does that- Well, we use the sun as power energy. Ah, solar energy. Got it. Let's find out more. Hello, miss. Do you mind chatting for a bit? Well, I don't see what for, but all right. Uh, be uh begging your pardon. But, uh, what's your opinion on Celestia and Luna fighting? Oh my, yes, it was absolutely dreadful. You see, Princess Luna wanted to be given more responsibilities, and Celestia didn't think she was ready for it. At least, that's what I heard. Poor Luna was furious about it. Stopped talking with her sister after that. Oh, that sounds awful. Is that why Celestia left? That just seems so unlike her. Oh, I know, dear. It was a shock to us all. Regal's script was often pulled in the middle of it. Both princesses wanted his opinion, and because he was the advisor, after all. Ah, oh, yeah, yeah. Well, the poor dear couldn't give them any answers, and before we knew it, one morning, the sun didn't come up, and Luna had found a letter. A letter? From Celestia? Yes, it was so very heartbreaking. Asked Regal to stay with Luna and teach her how to be a proper ruler. Can you believe it? She even said she never wanted to bring the sun again, and that Luna should learn. Since then, uh, the days have been much shorter and ever so dreary. Oh, I can imagine. Well, thanks for the chat, miss. It was nice. And thank you for chatting. Have a good day.